requested the Attorney General and lawyers of the plaintiffs in a case concerning the legitimacy of the Guantanamo Bay detainees in Ghana to file further submissions. The action will gauge the effect Articles 83 and 84 of the 1992 Constitution as on Article 75 of the same Constitution. This was after the Supreme Court filed this was after the Supreme Court failed to deliver a judgment on the case of the high moment was at the Supreme Court and reports that the court has asked the parties to file further submissions by the 24th of May 2017 and return to court on the 22nd of June 2017 for a verdict. Margaret Banfo and Henry Nanabwache last year sued the Attorney General and Minister of Justice as well as the Minister of Interior accusing government of illegally bringing in the two former Gitmo detainees without recourse to the laws of the land. The two, Mahmoud Umar Mohammed bin Atef and Khalid Mohammed Saleh Al-Dubi of Yemeni origin are among 17 detainees transferred from the prison camp in Cuba by the United States. The seven-member Supreme Court panel presided over by Justice William Atuguba has, however, requested the parties to file further submissions on the effect Articles 83 and 84 of the 1992 Constitution has on Article 75 of the same Constitution. Bafwe Wa is a lawyer for the plaintiffs. We are likely, or we may, have the position that, yes, there are certain agreements which the, the, Ghana, the, 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 the President of Ghana can take. So it, is, it, it, it will, in effect, create a certain exception, which is why the court thinks that we must give further submissions so that they make a decision that would be um, beneficial to Ghana going forward. The difficulty of the Supreme Court is that they want to be sure if decisions taken in respect of national security interests to enter into agreements with another country can be overturned by the court on grounds that it conflicts with a constitutional provision. They further explain that, as it stands now, the said agreement has already been executed and they are wondering if anything at all can change about it per the judgment of the court. The court has asked the parties to file further submissions by the 24th of May 2017 and return to court on the 22nd of June 2017 for the judgment of the court. The new